in this video we'll be learning about event variables now in event variables there are two types of variables auto event variable and custom event variable so you can find the auto event variable here and the custom event variable here we'll first look into the custom variable the custom event variable is very simple it just uh, returns the value of the event that is happening i'll show you an example and it is very easy to set up as well there's literally no configuration required so we'll just name it c event right and save it and now let's just see how it works so let's go to our preview so as i said it just gives you the value of the event that's happening so if you go back to summary now and close your in variables all right we can already see that we had an event variable which gives us the value gtm.js but we created a custom event here which also gives us the value of the event which is gtm.js and similarly it will just uh, change with the events so it's something that you won't use that often or won't use at all but it's good to know about it so now let's move on to our auto event variable go to new and go to auto event variable now auto event variable is just used to access the target element of the auto event action which could be your click or form submission anything so for example if you click an image you can access the image url or the target link or if you submit a form you can access the form ids etc all right so for example if we go to our site now let's go to our site connect and if I go to the about page and we have this purchase button right so if you go to inspect we can see that uh, we have button type name and the name of the button which is purchase the text on the button so let's just close this and if i were to click on the button click on the purchase button just go here i can see the variables like click text but uh, and just click text and click element All right but uh we also saw that there was something called as name in the inspect code like if i go back inspect code and there's something called as name as well so we can get this attribute as well using auto event uh, variable let's just see how new we we'll go to auto event variable and variable type will be element attribute and the attribute name will be name itself if it was something like value then attribute value would be the attribute name would be value but in this case it is name so attribute name will be name and again we can name this as event variable auto event variable name right. save it and now when i launch preview go to about and then click the purchase button go back to summary now yeah here we can find the on the click we can find the auto event variable name which is purchase product and if we go back inspect yeah you can see the name is purchase product now you might wonder what problem does this solve what is the use case of it well uh, if suppose you have a uh, you have three or four different images on your site and each opens a different link and you want to track which which of the images are your visitors clicking the most now you will create a trigger for this 
uh, you will create a click trigger for this right to find out which which button is being clicked the most or which image is being clicked the most but uh, what if they all contain the same CSS class and they have no click IDs so in this case uh, these default variables will not be useful right so you cannot identify which image was clicked so you can use you can go to the inspect element to find other possible options uh, for this so if you like for example you can just cl right click on any uh, any element and go to the inspect and it will give you the code for example the case we are talking about the code could look something like this all right and in this we can see that uh, if they have the same CSS class and no ID here what we can use we can use attributes such as alt or data video ID so all this we can use and by using the auto event variable we can make them accessible and then we can set rules or triggers right so accordingly when uh, suppose when the data video ID is this then this event should uh, then this tag should fire so that's how we can use auto event variable to set rules so yeah this was just a deep dive into event variables thank you